Hello everyone! With this GUI app, you'll be able to perform object detection and train your models in an easier and smarter way. Do we need machine learning or Python programming knowledge to use this GUI app? No, it's not required. But having that background wouldn't hurt. By using this GUI app, even though without coding or AI expertise can easily participate in AI projects and accelerate innovation. All you need is an idea of what problem you want to solve with AI and the patience to collect and annotate data. This app will take care of the rest. So let's dive into how to use it. First, decide on your project and collect the relevant images or videos. In my case, it's the development of AI for sorting green soybeans. Then, annotate that data using tools like VOTT or labeling. When annotation is done, export the files in the YOLO annotation format. Be careful as formats like COCO or XML won't work. Put your images and annotations into one folder like this. You don't need to manually split the data into train and validation sets. The GUI app will do that automatically for you. If you have already split the data, that's fine too. Once annotations are ready, set up the virtual environment per the readme and run Python main pi. This GUI is a platform for both model training and object detection. Click the tabs on the left to switch between modes as you can see. Next, let's train a model on your original data. You just need to configure edge settings to easily start training. First, enter a project name. This will be used for naming the YAML file the other. Next, click Select Train Data to open an Explorer window and point it to the folder containing your images and annotations. Then, click Select Model Save folder to choose where to save the trained model files. Next, choose which YOLO model and size you want to train. As of this video's recording, you can choose YOLO V9 or V8 models in a range of sizes. Select whichever fit you need. I'll try the YOLO V9 compact for example. After that, set the CNN input size, number of epochs, and batch size. If unsure, Try 640, 100, and 16 to start. If you get GPU memory errors, decrease the batch size to 8, 4, 2. Finally, enter the names of the classes you want the AI to detect. By the way, you need to be careful too. First, enter one class name per line. Second, use the same ordering as when you annotated in VOTT labeling. Getting this wrong will scramble the model's output. Ok, prep is all done. Now just click start training and it will automatically begin training. During training, the progress bar continues to move. Well, ok. Logs will appear in the window on the right side of the GUI. This program splits the data into train var folders, as we discussed earlier. The folders are generated and copied like this. And it also generates YAML files. The YAML file contains the directory path and classification class name of your data, like this. Additionally, it downloads the YOLO-based model from the internet only first time. 
Once ready, it runs through the specified number of epochs. In this case, 100 epochs. Now the learning begins. By the way, two key points during training. First, do not delete the automatically generated runs directory in the current folder. This contains the training results, which will copy over to your specified save folder once complete. Second, don't click the detect tab or close the terminal while training is ongoing. The backend will keep training if you switch tabs, but it could cause UI bugs. Now that's all for the explanation of train. So grab a cup of tea and let it run its course until completion. Once it reaches the final epoch, the log will display training completed. This means the model training has finished. Well done. Now let's take a look at the model you just trained. Inside the specified save folder, you'll find a folder called weights has been copied over. Inside that folder are two model files, best PT and last PT. The best PT contains the model weights from the epoch that has the highest performance during training. The last PT has the weights from the final training epoch. So let's try out object detection using this newly trained model. Now let's click the detect tab. The white area will display images after running object detection. Below are the control buttons. First, click select image folder and choose the folder containing the images or videos you want to run detection on. Next, click select model and pick either the best PT or last PT from the model you just trained. When ready, click Start Detection to begin the object detection process. After a brief wait, the GUI will display the detection results like this. Click this sky blue button to cycle through to the next images. The detection output images or videos are saved in a results subfolder alongside the test image folder. This allows easily sharing the results with others. If you need to run detection on another set of images, just select a new folder via Select Image Folder and click Start Detection again. OK, that covers the key features of this GUI app. Wishing you success with your AI project. See you next time.